The Ypsilanti Automotive Museum opened in uh, August of 1995. The focus of the museum is Ypsilanti's automotive heritage. Um, that centers around the world's last operating Hudson dealership, of which uh, the, the dealership building is connected to the rest of the museum buildings. That building w was a Hudson dealership from 1927 through uh, 1958. Right now we're displaying uh, the last Hudson manufactured. That's the 1957 and it's kind of, uh, today you refer to it as a Art Deco design. Tons of chrome, three-tone color, red, black, and white. The convertible is one of the first cars after World War II, that's in 1946. The little two-tone green Hudson Superjet uh, was Hudson's compact car that they brought out in 1953. Uh, the car only lasted two years because of the merger of Hudson and Nash Kelvinator to form American Motors. The 33 Terraplane that's sitting in the showroom connects to Amelia Earhart. Uh, Amelia Earhart christened the first Terraplane when it was introduced at the factory in a mass driveway of 2,000 Hudson dealers from all over the United States. Hudson throughout their history uh, built about uh, uh, three and three quarters million cars which for an independent manufacturer uh, w w was a lot of vehicles.